In this video, we're going to show you how to set up Pro Tools with Session Wire. It's very straightforward. We're going to start with the basic settings for Pro Tools. If we go to the Playback Engine menu, I prefer to have all of these optimizations off. Um, this will allow for easy streaming of audio and uh, a reduction in audio artifacts in case your system can't handle the streaming of audio in Session Wire. Uh, your buffer size can be whatever size you would like. And your sample rate can also be whatever sample rate you would like. I'm running at 24-bit, 48 kilohertz. And Robin is running at whatever he wants to run at on the other side of the connection. So here we go into setting up the session. I have um, drum stems already in my session. We're going to pretend this is like, a, say, a mix review session. And Robin's going to listen to what I'm going to stream him. So I'm going to flip to my mixer. Every single one of these channels is routed straight out to my stereo out one and two, and I have a master fader that governs that output. And I'm just going to insert the session wire send plugin on that master fader. And it pops up. We get a little message that says, please open session wire studio app and log in, and then wait for 10 seconds. And then I'm going to hit play and Robin can give me the thumbs up if you hear this. Loud and clear. Excellent. Big thanks to our friends at Telefoden <laughs> in Germany for the multi track stems. Yeah, that's awesome that they uh, said it was cool to use that uh, session for this video. Yeah, no doubt. Um, you'll probably notice that, uh, Robin, you'll probably notice that you were hearing audio coming through my microphone as well. And we can get rid of that by turning on SessionWire's TalkBack auto mute function in the app itself. So if I hit play again, Robin will only hear the audio being streamed and not the audio going through my microphone. There we go. That is the easiest way to get set up streaming audio one way. And on Robin's end, he only needs to have session wire open and it will default to the proper settings for him to be able to hear my audio streaming to him on installation. No need to change any settings. Yeah, the, I, I actually changed from the default to just wrote it front instead of my built in mic and or my built in speaker and my MacBook Pro. I've got it. Uh, router to my PreSonus Studio 68. So, excellent. All right. The next step we're going to uh, go through is how to bring audio into my Pro Tools session from Robin. So, if Robin was to play me audio at the moment, he's got the bass track for this particular song queued up. If he's to play that, I won't see it show up in my Pro Tools system, but I will hear it because my HQ audio destination is set to my interface. So the audio coming to me does not need to go to the DAW. It comes straight out of my audio interface and I hear it. So Robin, take it away. Excellent. And Robin is using the auto mute function. So I'm not hearing his talk back when he hits play. The trigger comes from the send plugin in his DAW, just like it does in mine. So if I want to bring his audio into Pro Tools, I'm going to create a new stereo aux input, and I'm going to label it Session Wire HQ Receive, abbreviation Receive, and I'm going to put the Session Wire Receive plugin on this track. Now it's important to note that if Robin plays me his audio, it's going to come into my Pro Tools session and because it's going out analog 1-2 and I have a master fader governing 1-2 with the send plugin on it, I'm going to loop his audio back to him. So Robin, if you want to play your audio, let me know if it's looping back to you. Oops. I forgot one key part of this setup. We need to change the HQ audio destination to session wire receive plugin. Now we'll see it show up in Pro Tools. Sounding pretty uh, loopy. Pretty loopy, pretty delayed. So 
this is how I prefer to set up my session to avoid that exact situation. I'm going to create a new stereo aux input called mix and its output will be analog one two and I'm going to route all of my audio in the session that I don't want to uh, sorry all of the audio that I do want to go to Robin to that aux and that will be everything except for this receive channel so let's take all of these and change the routing to the mix channel and I'm going to slide the session wire plugin onto this mix channel so that when Robin streams me audio down the receive channel, it bypasses the mix channel. All right, so Robin, do you want to play some audio for me again? Certainly. Great. All right. Perfect. Clean on your end? Yep. Awesome. All good. This is the easiest way for me, in my opinion, to get set up streaming audio two ways between DAWs without setting up feedback loops is to create a mix aux that runs in parallel with the HQ receive channel. Now we're going to look at routing all of the talkbacks through Pro Tools as well. And it's very similar to setting up this receive channel alongside the mix bus. We're going to create two and this is just one way to set up two mono aux inputs called session wire talkback. And one of them we're going to label send, and one of them we're going to label receive. On the session wire talkback send plugin, I'm going to insert the session wire talkback send plugin. And I'm going to set the input to the channel that my microphone is plugged into, which for me is channel, nine, channel 19. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that we got feedback there. So we mute that channel locally, but my talkback will go to Robin in a second. I need to change some settings in Session Wire Studio. And on the Session Wire Talkback Receive channel, we put the Session Wire Talkback Receive plugin, and Robin's talkback will come to me through Pro Tools in a second. And we just need to change two things in Session Wire, the app. We go to the microphone icon, the drop down menu. We're going to change the microphone to the Session Wire Talkback Send plugin and change the speaker to the Session Wire Talkback Receive plugin. And now my Talkback is going through Pro Tools, as we can see in the Session Wire Talkback Send plugin. Robin, can you hear me? Yes, I can. And now we can see Robin's voice come into Pro Tools via the Session Wire Talkback Receive plugin. Now this setup, this final setup is only recommended if you're running a Pro Tools HDX system or another setup where Pro Tools hijacks the audio drivers and you can't use a webcam for talkback or an interface directly for talkback. That interface can have a microphone plugged into channel one and Session Wire will see it. So again, advanced setup, only for HDX systems where it is impossible to use any external devices for talkback. Anything to add, Robin? Nope, that's just the easy way to do it. And uh, the easier you can make your setup, the faster you can get to the real business, which is making some music. Exactly. So try the first setup first. If you need to do more advanced routing, check out the second setup and so on. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at support at sessionwire.com and check out our support site, support.sessionwire.com. See you next time. See you later.